Welcome back to Hoochos. Today on Hoochos, I'll be releasing these. These are 3D printable end caps for the 2x3 and the 3x4 gutter sizes that are available in the United States of America. Now, I've had a ton of requests for the ends for the American pipe systems, as a lot of you viewers are American. And the reason it's taken so long for me to design and bring these parts to you on my Patreon is because I've been working in tandem with the World Grace Project, which is a charity over in America that helps to train and educate youths in hydroponics, amongst other things. I've been working with a Patreon, Karen, to bring a product to you guys for those who don't 3D print. So here's Karen from the World Grace Project to give you a little bit of information about the product. Hey Hoochos channel, just a quick thank you so much for all the content you put out, it's amazing. I wouldn't be able to do any of this without it. But also, we are so grateful for the collaboration to work with you on the hydroponic gutter from America. We have kids and youth working on this project, learning how to build and run a CNC machine. So thanks to you and anyone who makes a purchase, your money's going to a good cause. Worldgraceproject.org. Thank you. So the gutter end caps to fit the 2x3 inch and the 3x4 inch gutters are available on the worldgraceproject.org's website. And as you can see, they're fairly reasonably priced. Now, this pricing obviously may change with time, but at the moment, they're $8.50 for four of the smaller version and $10.50 for four of the larger version. So you're only looking at maximum a little over $2.50 for each end of a gutter, and you'll get two grow systems out of that. You'll have to drill your own holes in these, but that'll just allow you to customize it the way that you'd like this system set up. So if you don't have a 3D printer, this is a great way to support a charity as well as get your garden up and running. And I'll link that below in the description of the video. And they're also gonna be available on Amazon if you prefer to use that method of purchase. The Amazon link will be slightly more expensive than purchasing directly from the charity as there are seller's fees involved. So if you'd like to help out a charity organization and do a little good in the world, head to the links in the description below. Now let's have a look at these. These are the 2x3 and 3x4 inch PVC gutters that are available in America. Now I've designed these gutter ends the, exactly the same way as I designed my square pipe gutter ends. And that is to accept a 13 millimeter barb in the drain end, like so, and to accept a standard float valve. We can just add in our float valve, like so. Tighten up the nut, and all that's required is that you cut a hole in the top uh, the size of the float. And similarly to the design on my square pipe, the float cover fits over the top of these American style end caps. You can have your float covered and protected from the weather and the sun. At the other end, we've just got our normal 13 millimeter hose pipe barb, and that will just fit into the end like so, and you would silicon that in place. This will allow you to add on some hose and a tap at the end so that you can drain it when you need to. So apologies for how dirty the systems are, but you can see how the float cover uh, protects that nutrient solution, which is in our rain gutter grow system from you know dirt and water entering in. But this is exactly the same system, just sized for your American pipes. Same idea just different sizing for your requirements. Okay, so I just wanna explain how to lay these out on the print bed, uh, because the way that I've designed the STL file is so that all of the parts are available in a single file. This has caused some trouble for a couple of people that don't know how to separate uh, those parts out. So I'm gonna show you how to separate those files out now. In Cura, we'll load up our file and I'll show you what I'm talking about. So American Downspout. So as you can see, this file moves as one piece, but there is multiple 
sections to the file and it won't let you move them individually. To separate the parts out, we just need to download an extension which is available on the marketplace. It's a free plugin and it gives you a bunch of really useful tools. That is Mesh Tools. So I've already got it installed. You would just double click on that and then click install. It gives you an extra menu drop down when you right click on the model and it allows you to split the model into parts. So I'm going to right click on the model and we're going to split model into individual parts and now that's split. So I can now individually select models and if I don't want to print them I can delete them. If if I want to print only that model, I can move it around on the bed. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this here as well. And then we can just select our other models, delete those like so. And I'll select both of these. I'll right click it and then I'll click arrange all models so that it arranges them on the bed in the most efficient way for the printer to work. Now you can also multiply those models. So you multiply them by say entering two and it will give you two of each. You can delete the original models and then you can just click on all of them, select arrange all models and that's given the printer the most efficient way of printing those models. You can also arrange them manually if you prefer that. So that's how you split these models in the STL file that they come in. If you'd like a more detailed video of how these work and how to assemble them onto the end of a rain gutter grow system, just watch this video. It walks you through the exact process except with an Australian version square pipe and that will give you an idea of how to assemble these if you still had any questions. Just quickly, uh, all I do is I get a food grade silicon. I silicon around the inside where it's going to contact with your PVC gutter, then just put it together and let it rest for the recommended dry time of that silicon. I also recommend, now when you're joining the 13 millimeter barb to the drain section, I recommend siliconing this in and having this already connected to the hose and the tap that you'll be using so that when you push it in and have it all silicon together, it creates a seal that you're not actually going to move around too much because you've already got all of the bits and pieces attached. I've broken the seal around this before due to the fact that I was manhandling a tap and a piece of hose onto the end. I've found it easier now to silicon it all in place at once rather than to go and silicon this in and then attach other parts. Now I'll also run a bead of silicon around just in front of the hose piece when I connect it on as if you don't have your print settings absolutely perfect, this is the most likely part to leak as the ends here are printed on a flat bed whereas this is printed standing up. All right, well that's it. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Who Chose. If you're interested in the non-3D printable version, head down into the description and it's available from the worldgraceproject.org or the Amazon link as well. The 3D printable version is available on my Patreon to all tiers. So if you're interested in getting the STL file for that, just jump onto my Patreon and you can download it, print as many as you like. All right, happy hydroponicking. And I'll see you next time on Who Chose. <laughs> uh.